Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we're doing a quick look at my current playoff predictions for the upcoming 2024-2025 season. Who do they have making the playoffs? Who do they have winning a couple rounds? And who do they have as my final prediction? And I'll get to all of that coming up right now. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here at the Intent Hockey Channel. Now before I begin this video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below. Thank you for all your support, we're new to the of you guys, so if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe button down below and don't forget to comment down in the comment section below, so I'll discuss in this video. And once again, sorry if there's any background noise, we've got some things going on today, but in today's video, we're going to be looking at my current playoff predictions for 2024-2025 season. Now, I've done uh, division preview predictions over the past couple of uh, weeks. You guys can check it out, I'll link it up in the YouTube cards. But if you haven't already seen my videos, I'll just quickly go through what my current standings predictions are for the 2024-2025 season. So as I said right now, my top three in the Pacific Division, I have Edmonton being the top team in the Pacific Division with a 52-22-8 record for 112 points. I have Vegas being second with 48-25-9 record for 105 points. And I have Vancouver being third with 43-26-13 and 13 record for 99 points. Those are the top three teams I have for the Pacific Division. Top three teams I have for the Central Division are Dallas, who has a 51-22-9 record for 111 points. Nashville, who has a 50-25-7 record for 107 points. And Colorado, who has 46-27-9 record for 101 points. Those are my top three teams for the Central Division. My two current teams that have making the wildcard positions are the Seattle Kraken, who have finishing with a 44-38-8 record for 96 points. And the Utah franchise, with their first ever playoff appearance in their first ever playoff season, with a 40-29-13 record for 93 points. So those are eight teams that have making the playoffs. I have the Kings missing with 92 points. I have the Wild missing with 90 points. The Jets missing with 87, the Blues missing with 85, the Blackhawks missing with 77, the Ducks missing with 75, Flames missing with 70, and Sherrick's missing with 62, so that's my current standings predictions for the West. In the East, the top three teams in the Metro Division I have currently are the New Jersey Devils with 115 points with a 55-22-5 record, the Rangers with a 53-24-5 record for 111 points, and the Hurricanes with a 48, 28, and 6 record for 102 points. Those are the top three teams I have in the Metro Division. The top three teams I have in the Atlanta Division would be the Toronto Maple Leafs with 110 points, a 51, 23, and 8 record. The Florida Panthers with a 47, 25, and 10 record for 104 points. And the All Senators with a 46, 31, and 5 record for 97 points. Those are the top three teams I have currently in the Atlantic Division. The two wildcard teams I have currently will be the Boston Bruins, who have a record of 44, 31, and 7 for 95 points. And the Washington Capitals for a 44, 34, and 4 record with 92 points. I have those two teams making it as wildcard teams. So those are the teams I have making the playoffs. I have the Sabres missing with 91 points. The Red Wings missing with 89 points. The Penguins missing with 88 points. Islanders missing with 86 points. Canadians missing with 83 points. Jackets missing with 80 points. Bolts missing with 78 points. And Flyers missing with 72 points. Those are my current predictions for the Eastern Conference. So if you were to break this all down, my current projected playoff matchups for 2024-2025 season would be as follows. In the East, you'd have the Devils taking on the Capitals. The Leafs playing the Bruins again. You'd have the Panthers taking on the Ottawa Senators. And you'd have the Rangers taking on the Hurricanes. In the Western Conference, you'd have the Oilers taking on the Utah franchise. You'd have Vancouver taking on Vegas. You'd have the Colorado Avalanche taking on Nashville and Dallas taking on Seattle. So we'll start in the Eastern Conference here. New Jersey will take on Washington. Now, I think Washington's good. I think they had a really good offseason. But at this point in time, as these two teams sit right now, I don't think they have much of a chance against New Jersey. The Devils are a really good team, really complete. Had some really good offseason moves. I think upgraded net, upgraded on the defensive end. So in my opinion, I do think that the Devils would take this series in five games. I think the Devils would make short work of the Washington Capitals. If they're the Rangers and Hurricanes, then this would be another tight series. We saw this last year when the Hurricanes played the Rangers. These two teams match up really well. I know the Carolina Hurricanes took a little bit of a step back this offseason, but I think this would still be a really close series, but I do see the Rangers winning in six games, have the better goaltending, and I think still all around have the better offense and potentially even the better defense too. So I would have the Rangers and the Devils winning their first round series. Just Rangers in six over Hurricanes, Devils in five over Capitals, so I would have those two moving on to round two. In the Atlantic Division, you have Toronto-Boston. I went back and forth on this one. I think the Leafs have gotten a lot better. I think the Bruins have stayed right round average, maybe gotten a little bit better with the addition of Elias Lindholm. So I could see that series go either way, but I am going to say that the Boston Bruins take it yet again in seven games. I think this will be a really interesting series. I could see Toronto win it, but with just the history of how Boston's played against Toronto in the playoffs, I would say Boston wins again, and as a wildcard team, so 
so I would say Boston moves on. And another upset would be Ottawa outing the Florida Panthers in six games. It would be a tight series, it would be a long series, but we've seen this over the past couple of years where the defending Stanley Cup champ has wound up falling in the first round over the past couple of years, and I think Florida follows that pattern. Ottawa somehow, by some miraculous way, will get by them, and in six games will advance to round two. So my current projections for round two of this year for the Eastern Conference would be a Senators Bruins second round matchup and a Devils Rangers second round matchup. If you go over to the Western Conference, I have the Edmonton Oilers taking on the Utah franchise. That would be an interesting series. Utah was their first ever playoff series against a really hot Oilers team. Oilers have the way better offense. You could debate that the Utah franchise has the better goaltending. I definitely think Utah has the better defense, but all in all, I think Edmonton would still handedly beat Utah as much as I really do like Utah and would hope that they would be able to get past Edmonton. I think Edmonton would easily handle them in like five games. So I don't see that being a too much of a problem for the Oilers and they would advance to round two. Vancouver Vegas would be a long grueling series between two really good teams. I could see this series go Vegas' way. Could see it go Vancouver's way. After a lot of deliberation, I'm going to say Vegas wins in seven. I think this could go either way if this was to be a first round series next year. But it will be an interesting series in my books. And I think that Vegas would have just enough firepower to get by the Vancouver Canucks, even though Canucks, I think, have the better goaltending. And I guess you could debate it maybe have the better forward group. But that decor for Vegas, I think, is just going to be too hard to get past. If you look at the central side, you have Nashville taking on Colorado in the 2v3 matchup. I have Nashville as a two seed knocking off the Colorado Avalanche. I think that the Preds have the better goaltending. The Preds, I think, have a reasonably similar defense to the Avalanche. And I think that the Preds could contend with the Avalanche as forward group. So with that in mind, I would say the Preds would narrowly get by Colorado and I think a six game series. So they would be able to take down the Colorado Avalanche. And then you have the Dallas-Seattle first round matchup, rematch of a second round matchup from two years ago between those two teams. This time, instead of Dallas winning, I have the Kraken upsetting. I think the Kraken would have just enough gas to get by the Dallas Stars, upend these Stars this year. And I think that the Kraken would be able to barely get by. I think Seattle has a really good defense. I think they could have actually a better offense, in my opinion, than Dallas, even though Dallas has the better gold sending. So I do think Seattle will be able to sneak by them. So I'll leave a second round matchup in the West of Nashville, Seattle and Edmonton, Vegas. So we'll go back to the East. In my second round matchups, I have Jersey and the Rangers. Now, at this point in time, I think New Jersey is the better team. I think they have relatively similar goaltending, even though the Rangers might have a slight edge. I think the Devils have a lot better of a defense. I think the Devils have more firepower offensively. So in my opinion, I would say the Devils take it in six games. This would be a really interesting and fun series, but I do think that the Devils will have enough to pull it off. Going over to the other Eastern Conference second round series between the Sens and the Bruins, the matchup between the two former Bruins goalies and Ulmerk and Swayman. It will be an interesting series. It'll be hot fought series but I think Ottawa will be able to take them down in seven games I think it would be a, a really hard fought series between two extremely good goaltenders but I think at this point in time Ottawa has a lot more youth and a lot more firepower offensively than the Bruins do and I think that would be a tipping scale in my opinion for the Senators to continue their magical run so that would leave a conference final in the Eastern Conference of Devils and Senators after the Sens beat the Bruins in seven and the Devils beat the Rangers in six in the Western Conference you'd have the Oilers and the Golden Knights these two teams hate each other it would be a long series series again. In this prediction though, I do have the Vegas Golden Knights wind up making the conference final again. I think Vegas just has a really strong defense and we saw that in the series two years ago where Edmonton just could not get by that defense. I think their goaltending is about the same and even though I think the Oilers had the better firepower, the defense is just on Vegas' side in my opinion so they would be able to win in I think six games so they would be able to go to the conference final. If you look at the other side, you'd have Nashville taking on Seattle. That would be an interesting series but I think Nashville has way better goaltending probably the better defense and I think their firepower on the offensive side could be evened up but I think Nashville could easily get by Seattle I think it takes Seattle all that they have to be a team like the Dallas Stars so I think Nashville will be able to get by them in like five games so I have the Predators wind up advancing to the conference finals so you have a conference final the Predators and the Golden Knights in the west and the Devils and the Senators in the east now I think the Senators magical run ends there the Devils are way better I think goaltending wise they stack up pretty well against each other but I think defensively Jersey's better offensively Jersey's better so I would definitely say Jersey wins this series in about five games maybe six but I think it'll be a short series and I think the Devils will be able to pull off a beat down of the Ottawa Senators to advance to the Stanley Cup final and then I would also have the Nashville Predators upending the Vegas Golden Knights it would be an interesting
interesting series, how it fought series, but the Preds have way better goaltending. I think Knights have the better defense, but the Preds, I think at this point in time, may have the better offense. So at this point, I think it would be a six or seven game series, probably a six game series, and Nashville will wind up advancing to the Stanley Cup final. So you'd have a matchup between the New Jersey Devils and Nashville Predators. Devils, first time they've been to the Cup final since 2012. Preds, first time since 2017, if I'm correct. Uh, the Preds have never won a Cup. Devils, I think, have won one or two in their uh, history. So it'll be interesting really good series. I think the Preds slightly have the edge goal planning wise. I think the Devils have the defensive edge. I think the Devils definitely have the offensive edge. So I'm going to take the New Jersey Devils to break the President's Trophy curse and be the first President's Trophy winning team to win the Stanley Cup as well in like I think 11 or 12 years. So I think the Devils will be able to win in like a six or seven game series, probably a six game series, but still it will be a really hot fought series. It will be really interesting and I think the New Jersey Devils are going to win their first cup in quite some time. So in my opinion, just to recap here. In the first round, I have Edmonton being Utah in five games, Vegas being Vancouver in seven, Seattle being Dallas in seven, and Colorado Blues into Nashville in six. I have Ottawa being Florida in six games, Boston being Toronto in seven, New Jersey being Washington in five games, and the Rangers being the Hurricanes in six games. In round two, I have Ottawa being Boston in seven games, Jersey being New York Rangers in six games, I have Nashville being Seattle in five games, and I have Vegas being Edmonton in six games. In the conference final, I have Vegas losing to Nashville in six games, I have Ottawa losing to New Jersey in five games, and the cup final this year, I have the New Jersey Devils being the Nashville Predators in six games to win their first cup in quite some time. So that's my current predictions for this upcoming season. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and your guys' predictions down in the comment section below. Who do you think will wind up being this year's Stanley Cup champion? Who do you think will get to the Stanley Cup? And do you agree or disagree with my playoff predictions? And who I see winning these first couple of rounds? Definitely love to hear your thoughts on all of that down in the comment section below. So I'm going to talk for today. Or to this video. If you're like, remember to subscribe down below. Thank you all your support. We're going to talk to you guys. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe button down below. Don't forget to leave a comment down in the comment section below. So we can all discuss today's video. Also, a blog talking about news, rumors, analysis, stuff for that, so if you check that out, I'll link in the description below. And I'm going to see you guys all for the next video. See you guys soon.